Governor DeWine highlighted several areas of focus during his State of the State address this week, which includes making Ohio more attractive and available for business growth. Lieutenant Governor John Husted says the goal is large investments into economic developments that could create more jobs across the state. To news reporter Kajaja Hawkins is in the studio live with us, digging deeper into how that plan will work. Kajaja. John, this is a $2.5 billion investment to prepare sites all across Ohio, creating shovel-ready locations for businesses to relocate to the state more quickly. When you land one of these big tenants, whether that's Honda or Intel, then the whole supply chain follows them. Lieutenant Governor John Eustace says he's already answered plenty of questions in the past about why certain locations are chosen for major economic projects. He says it's simple. Those were the only locations prepped for a larger business to begin building immediately without the hassle of laying the groundwork. As Ohio moves forward, Houston says he hopes this new All Ohio Future Fund will make similar sites available all over the state. It's designed to invest in getting these job ready sites available with the utilities and the roads and all of the infrastructure they need so the businesses when they pick, pick Ohio that they have a place to go. Right now, we're getting calls from businesses. They say, where, where can we locate? We need 300 acres. We don't have a lot of sites with 300 acres available that have the infrastructure. We're going to change that with the All Ohio Future Fund. Sydney has seen recent success attracting major investments, with Simcorp choosing the city for its new EV battery plant. The $916 million project will create nearly 1,200 jobs. City manager Andrew Bowser says Sydney has already proven to be a site for businesses to relocate, and he believes this program will provide even more incentive for more companies to consider the city in the future. For our community in Sydney, you know, we build things. We're the makers of things and we have a great number of workforce that's here. Uh, the addition of some of this infrastructure allows us to continue pushing the envelope and moving forward into the future. So it's a very exciting uh, program and initiative and I'm excited to learn more about it on the specifics of the program and how we're going to be able to tap into those dollars. And coming up at five, I'll have a more in-depth look on how Sydney is hoping this new initiative will positively influence their city. Live in the studio, Kajaja Hawkins, 2 News.